if you don't study it, you can't understand it. If you can't understand it, you can't change it. This is an enormously wealthy country. Our issue, our concern is with how the inequalities arise such that a significant proportion of the population are having to live in circumstances that the rest certainly wouldn't wish upon themselves. I think our generation is living in a time when we're facing really, really big difficulties and big problems. For example, climate change or an aging society. We're the ones who have to find answers to that. We have to save the world, and right now. I think it's in my in my personality and in my kind of in my makeup, as it were, that I've always felt like I wanted to uh, to work with people and to work kind of helping people. And sociology is one way into that. Our lecturer said, "Everyone, put your hands up if the reason, the main reason you chose this course is because you felt like you wanted to make a difference in society." And I think I looked around, and almost everyone in our class had put their hand up, saying, "Yeah, that." That's why I chose this course. I think it's something everyone should be involved in. I grew up with a family that was quite politically aware and involved in the community. From there, I just learned that I really wanted to be involved with people and how to make a change. I decided to, to go on a gap year in South America and just going around and talking to people and getting a bit involved in what the government is doing in these countries and how people think about them, it just opened my eyes. And I thought, maybe I should do something about this as well. So I decided to study social policy. I decided to pick social sciences because I wanted to get that broader understanding. And it was, it was quite hard to decide just one straight path, and that would be social policy or sociology. And I wanted to really explore them all. At the beginning, in first year, I studied a little bit of psychology, I did a little bit of international relations, and then as I've progressed through the years and my time at the university, I've narrowed it down more into policy and development, but it means that I've still got that broader understanding of social research. Sociology is a little bit more theoretical in its nature, and in some of the modules that make up the, the degree than uh, some of the other courses like social sciences and social policy. So that's a great thing for anyone that really likes to take um, ideas that are perhaps quite complicated. Some of them are older than others, some of them are quite new and contemporary, but someone that likes to read a lot and to understand what they're seeing now in, in modern times. So they'll have an idea of the causes of uh, social problems and then also with those causes an idea of how to solve them. We can say I don't care about politics, I'm just, I'm just doing my work and I'm living my life. But, but policies are influencing us every day and we need to care about it and we need to do it better. One of the things that I've, I've enjoyed most about Bath is the sense of community in the course and also just around campus. The lecturers really make themselves um, accessible to students, they have a lot of contact hours, so we have quite a lot of lectures and seminars anyway, but even on top of that they really go above and beyond. The Social and Policy Sciences Department definitely pushed the boundaries. We're definitely in a, an environment which challenges us. The lecturers who are here teaching us, they're very progressive. They always want you to question everything and it's not traditional. It's, it's, everything is very new, very contemporary. So it's a fantastic place to really to broaden your horizons and also get some of the, the best teaching that is available right now. The placement opportunities you can apply for are really varied. I chose the academic option. I did a research placement, the Department of Education at the Oxford University. Being there and actually working with academics and PhD students, it just confirmed me that this is really, really what I want to do. In my work placement at the Department for Work and Pensions, we spent a lot of time looking at the whys in terms of why people need benefits and why it's our role to help them but it's also something I'd like to look at more is the how in terms of how we can use big data to really increase our understanding on a pretty much monumental scale because there's going to be so much new information out there and I think sociologists really have the right skill set to be able to understand that data and also what it's saying about people and why it might look that way.
My placement has definitely impacted my career choice. Being the leader of policy at um, a charity in Bristol has really opened my eyes to project management and taking more of that leadership role. The career path for a social scientist is very broad. So lots of people have gone into social research with the government, think tanks. People have gone into marketing, so big, big companies such as Disney, and they need social scientists to be to be leaders and to, to question everything and have directive and to be more understanding of what's going on. Bath is a beautiful Georgian city and our campus has spirit because the students bring spirit to the campus. It probably sounds cliche but I think I fell in love with Bath from the first time I visited it. On an open day I fell in love with Bath itself as, as a place and then I fell in love with the campus. I think the reason I'm here and the reason I'm studying here is to make a change and believe in making a change. Ultimately there's a social scientist in everyone really and sociologists are really at the heart of making a difference to our society. I just think why, why would you not want to be a part of that?